What's up everyone? We're at the Carolina Inn here in Chapel Hill. DJ in a wedding today. Take you guys inside, we'll see what's up, but I gotta go move the truck. So today is July like 15th, 16th. It is hot as can be out here. I am glad we're inside today. I'm literally already sweating just rolling things inside. But uh, we gotta go move the truck across the street somewhere. So yes, we're here for Matthew and Mary Liz's wedding today here in Chapel Hill. It's gonna be a fun time. I already got Gabe started on setting up our speakers. Nothing too crazy on the setup side today. We're just doing tubes and that's pretty much it. We got cocktail reception. No ceremony. Ceremonies off-site at a church, I believe. Gonna be a fun time though. They got a high ranking on the party crowd scale. Lots of good songs on the request list. All good signs for a great party today. Super excited. Anyways, walking across from the overflow lot because you know truck and trailer it's always a fun situation in downtown environments whether it's downtown durham raleigh chapel hill charlotte it's always a fun time that's one area where a trailer does not come in handy when you guys are trying to maneuver downtown city environments there's not much space but we make it work every single time because you know people know you got a trailer and they're like we gotta figure out how to make it work so we make it work coming in through here i believe this is where cocktail is going to be it's going down so gabe's already got the speakers up right here ld systems maui 44 g2s and we're up here all right guys these are the new the new stands from both lighting for the tubes put one together just to show gabe so basically there are two sections here these two parts right here screw together that's the top that's the bottom you just screw them together. And then I did a hack here. I took the bottom part of the tube off and permanently mounted it on the base plate with the nut here. And then all Gabe has to do is just screw that onto the base plate. And then we are assembled and ready to go. It's already set with the right thread up top for the tubes. Compared to the mic stands we were using, these actually go about two to three inches taller. Not a big difference, but the bigger difference is that they're more stable. If you guys check out on uh, online at bowflightingusa.com, you guys can see that this actually is way thinner on the mic stand and way less stable. Crazy enough though, it's actually lighter. These stands are actually lighter than the mic stands and that's because that base plate is nice and flat and way bigger. Gonna get all four of those assembled. We're gonna get the booth set up up there and uh, should be set up here very shortly. All right guys, we're fully set up now. I couldn't really get a good time-lapse shot just because of everything that was going on. But uh, let me show you guys the setup and let me tell you, the white tubes work really well and also if you guys are watching this video at this point, the white tubes are actually available on both lightingusa.com we weren't in planning on launching them this soon but if you guys want the white tubes you guys can go pick them up these are not the white tubes these ones are spray painted white they are actually black ones cool little setup we're up here on the balcony right beside the cake we split the facade up probably put a little spot here for potentially photographers or whoever needs to throw some bags put them right there out of the way we got our back rack situation over here basically nice and busy over here we're charging the laptop up for cocktail I uh, need to get the mics hooked up still. We got our setup all ready to rock and roll. So yeah, just a quick little overview of the setup, everything. Nice room, there's basically stairs that go down on all different sides. So it actually worked out that that was on the same level for load in so that we can get berth in there. Basically we got the tubes all set up. Four little spots, I would have liked to put two right there but it's very tight on the back side over here behind this table. Very tight, so it would have been too tight to probably put those tubes in here. Stands look nice, like awesome. These stands are so much more stable. Like I feel perfectly comfortable knocking those around that they're not gonna fall over at all. They'll wobble like crazy, but they are stable. Way more stable than the mic stands. And then if we take you up here, show you cocktail. I feel like I'm gonna get copyrighted for the music playing in this room. Um, this is the hallway for cocktail. Again, just an LD system as Maui 5 go down there on the corner. Cocktail hour in this hallway, and the bar is actually gonna be in here. So they got a nice double bar in here, some more cocktail tables. They got the, looks like some hors d'oeuvres are gonna be there. Got a little memorial table over here. And then all the guests will be mingling here, and then they'll be greeted to come in just like this to an awesome setting for tonight. All right, everyone, welcome to the Carolina Inn here in Chapel Hill. We're all set up today for Matt and Mary Liz's wedding. Super exciting, very simple setup on our end, but very epic on the overall side of things. This is the first time noticing it though. It's actually a little bit echoey in here. I didn't notice that earlier on because there was a lot of people in here, but there is a little bit of echo and also the doors are open. Panning around, this is the quickest thing is to look at the bow flight in the 360 tubes. We got them all the way around. My version is a white version. I did spray paint them. You now can buy the white version though. If you guys have black ones and you want to make white, all you need to get is the Krylon um, metal white paint. Just clean them up, paint them, tape them. It's very simple to do. If you need more info, contact me. But white tubes today, we do have the bow lighting, the first set of stands finally. So we got the stands. These are the white ones. They come in white or black. They're both matte. Again, this is painted white. 
Uh, we're running like a little bit of an amber white color today. Of course, sound wise up here, we have the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s as always. Uh, we didn't use them last week because we had a bigger wedding, but today this is the perfect sound system for the setup. Actually, I would honestly say they might be a little too loud for this room. It's not that big. This room's really cool. This hotel was built back in 1928, right? Or is it 1923? 1928. I'm from Ohio, so the UNC Duke stuff, I'm not, a, I'm not really huge on it. But our groom today is actually an announcer for UNC. A little plug on that end. Speaking of which, what's up? Hey, I just need to stash this for the best man speech. Back here. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Awesome. <laughs> just want to make sure, you know. What happened up here? Yeah, um. No. No, okay. No. I'll just come grab it then when we. I, I'll make sure you got it. Awesome. No, okay. more than likely, uh, it'll just take place down there. Okay. So, um, typically that's how it works. They'll be stand. Are they sitting beside you guys? Yeah. Yeah. One of your sides to the the groom. So. They'll probably literally just stand up. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Cool deal. I just had like a. That's not the groom. That's the best I'm pretty sure that's his brother because <laughs> they look identical. I swear, like literally, just had like a, a when I finally like actually went up to him, I was like, "Oh wait, that's not the groom." I thought that was the groom. I literally totally thought that was the groom, but that is the the best man. So, um, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff that happens at these weddings, guys. I mean, some of you comment down below. Do you guys like seeing the behind the scenes raw stuff that actually happens at these weddings? Because I got some haters in the comments that are like. Don't, we don't care about the behind the scenes. We just want to see the dancing footage. And then I got some haters that are like, just stop making gig logs altogether because you suck. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to keep making gig logs because you guys keep watching them and you guys love it. Anyways, comment, comment down, down below. below uh, hashtag squad if you're a member. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button because that's important. Anyways, on the sound side, we are using the LD System Maui 44 G2s. Yeah, we already went through that. I was talking about the room. Balconies on both sides. We do have a side room over there. We've got a couple tables over there. The speakers are positioned in a way. I mean, these have really wide coverage, which we do need to straighten up before we do introductions. But these are actually two tables up there too. Those are like VIP tables, honestly. I would want that table. But on this side, we got the cake and we have our setup. Like I said, this setup was very simple. They didn't actually get any lighting. And if you guys have noticed that my recent gig logs, and this is just kind of like the being the owner of Fusion Sound Lighting, I'm now like including four tubes with all of my setups, regardless if they get them or not, just because they do pay a little more to have the owner come do their wedding. So, you know, we bring the furniture booth, we bring the tubes, we make it a really fun party. Um, speaking of which, we got the furniture booth right here, uh, Rain 12s, S9, all that good to go. And there's a little plug right now. If you guys are coming to Atlantic City, this will be in the booth. Both Lighting USA will be at Atlantic City for the DJX convention August 7th through the 10th. We'll be on the show floor from August 8th through the 10th, showing off all the products, awesome stuff like that. Check that out. But anyways, uh, HP Spectra, we're running uh, Serato DJ Pro. We're running Sound Switch for the tubes. This is the newest version of our Sound Switch pre-programmed file. It literally took Marcellus practically a month to have enough time to program these, but you will see on tonight's footage from the GoPro, these are now pixel mapped and have all kinds of crazy pixels going all over the place. I'm super excited to get it because it's gonna be super more, it's gonna be way more energetic. So, um, simple setup though, our audio rack back here, you guys know the deal. Um, 12 channel mixer, audio technical microphones, all set and ready to go. To speed up your setup guys, I highly recommend pre-wiring everything. This rack is already pre-wired with everything. All we have to do is take the wires out of this booth, plug them in, plug in the speakers. It literally took me and Gabe like not even an hour from start to finish and that's from unloading, going all the way down the hallway, moving the, the gear to the other room. It literally took us no time at all to set all this up. It's very simple, plug and play, few cables, few connections. We're literally only using three cables. Just thought about that. No, four. We have one power and two XLRs. So three cables, that's all we got. Very simple setup. Anyways, cocktails going on out in the hallway. Um, I'm gonna go check out there and check the vibe and then uh, we'll come back in here and we'll start everything off with introductions. So see you then.
That right there is a wrap. I hope Gabe got some good footage. In-ear monitors, second time using them, solid. I, I really am starting to get the hang of the in-ear monitors. I think I said it before, but what I'm doing is uh, right ear is the in-ear monitor. So I use the right one, just like this, seals it off. Left one, I'm using this right here. So this is just a uh, musician earplug at like minus 15 dB. Very light, but just enough to knock down the noise. Cause I really like to have an ambient ear to hear ambiently what's happening and then have my monitor ear. And actually I listen to the monitor feed a lot in this. I've realized that every DJ is different, but I flip back between Q and master all the time. So this is like my main reference here when I'm DJing and I will be on master channel most of the time. And then when I'm queuing up the next song, I'm on queue of course to listen to the next song. But for the most part, I'm actually listening to the master. I don't listen to dead air, but um, yeah, solid wedding. Gabe's crushing it. Look at him, look at him go, look at him go. He's already breaking down the tubes and everything. I'm gonna start breaking down some stuff. It should be a very quick tear down, get out of here. Holy crap, you guys see this humidity sweat? I think I had to go quickest. We, we're down. sweating, man. We're getting the time check, time check, time check. 10.39. 10.39, we ended at 10. So 39 minutes, all broke down, out of here. And changed, and changed. Yeah, we always change. Anyways, we're gonna do a final walkthrough as we always do to make sure we don't forget anything. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Gabe, any, any comments? It was fun, it was fun. It was a fun time. Anyways guys, uh, like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Keep the record spinning. Peace.